God, He really blessed me. Amen. So what if I get scared to do something? If I gotta speak somewhere and pray to God, I feel a little fear. I start telling myself, that ain't God's spirit. Come on now. Amen. But you get nervous? You get nervous when you gotta speak before a large crowd? Yes. yes. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. But I tell myself, this is not God. And when I get up, that people be like, I never knew you were scared. I didn't seem like you were scared. <laughs> Amen. amen. You know, we got, amen. I have the ability. I have the desire. Right. I have the ability. Amen. And it's God working in me. Yes. Come on, say amen. Amen. My times do I come and speak before y'all. Come on, say amen. Amen. I always be in the back praying, Father, you all have spoke to me. You all have came through and blessed. Now, Father, I need you to speak today to the people. Are y'all with me here today? Amen. All right, number three. Now, one more, right? Amen. God gives me a what? New community. A new community. You know what? I got some new folks I need to be hanging with. Amen. All right. New service. Amen. I see something y'all not like. Oh, yeah. I'm still hanging on the sword, so. They still my best friend. Uh -huh. They still my ride and die. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. When you come into Christ, God will give you a new community. Amen. <laughs> Ephesians 1 4 and 5 says, Let me go ahead and finish it. Because of his love, God will change the man has always been to adopt us into his own family. By bringing us unto himself through Jesus Christ. Amen. A God adopts us to his own family. Yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. How I many people have been to a family reunion? Somebody try to come and say they family. <laughs> amen. People like, no, 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 no. I see my mom down here, praise God. But, but if you know somebody who has that, they ain't part of your family, you can recognize them, right? Amen. Now that's so and so baby. <laughs> Come on, say amen. Amen. God adopted us to his family, so I have a new community. Amen. First Corinthians 12 and 7 says, A different spiritual gift is given to each of us. What kind of spiritual gift? A different, different. spiritual gift is yeah. given to each of us in God's family. Amen. So we can help each other for what? Yeah. That's why I need you. You need me. Amen. That's why I need you to work out your spirit. Uh, reveal to you, help you bring out your spiritual gift because it will bless everybody and for the common good. Amen. That's why I have a problem with people who think they're better than me. Yes. Come on now. They have higher positions than me. Mm -hmm. They're in the church and, and they're the hierarchy of the church. Uh. Yeah. They believe their gift is above everybody. Uh. And I'm, I'm the big person in the church and you ain't nothing. Uh. How many have been there before? Amen. How many can tell when the big wigs walk in? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Y'all say right. Amen. How many other people? How many have been in the church and they let you know who they, who, who, that the pastor, that daddy? Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, my mom and dad is the pastor. They. <laughs> but every different, every gift is, is given to each of us uh -huh. in God's family, so we can help each other for the common good. And God's family now. That's why we come here gospel, not just the church, but the family. Yeah. That's why we welcome you to be part. That's why I desire to be your pastor, because I want you to be part of the family. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. How many felt like the family was since you've been here pure gospel? Amen. How many we really make you feel like a family? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let us out go, because we're part of the family of God. Amen. Amen. Are y'all all right? Amen. Galatians 28, 28 says, in Christ's family, there are no what? Divisions. Between Jews and what? No. Are slaves? No. Are and free? Are male or what? Female. Instead, we are all what? Equal in a common relationship with Jesus Christ. That's why you make that stand, praise God. Here in the gospel, amen, there's no friendly fire. Amen. Amen. I say amen? amen? We are equal in Christ. Amen? Last one. Somebody say last one. Last one. We're about to go. We're about to go. Captain God, give God a hand praise. This is the best part of the church. Y'all would say amen, right? Amen. Now, some people will get to those gifts, we'll get to that food. Amen. So let me hear you and hurry up and get you out of here. Amen. Also the football. Uh, uh, God gives me a new destiny. Yes. A new destiny. Yes. What do you mean a new destiny? A, new a purpose. Amen. A calling. A goal. An intention. A goal. An aim. A new lot has fell upon me. Come on, man. Somebody say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Peter 1 and 4 says God has, has reserved for his children the priceless gift 
Let's read it together. Amen. The what? Priceless gift. A woman. Eternal life. It is God. It is kept word. In heaven. For who? For you. Pure in what? Undefiled. We go to the reach of what? Change. Change. The gift that God has for us. The priceless gift of what? Eternal life. You can't put a price on this. So I say amen. amen. And God said, I got it in heaven. Uh-huh. But nobody can mess it up. That's right. It's in heaven. It's in heaven. There's a voice. Mm. Nobody can take it from me. Amen. So I say amen. How many see children pray God? Uh, one child get jealous of his other child's gift and snatch it hide or either break it or tear it up. How many seen that before? Amen. Praise the Lord, amen. Are you seeing them fighting? They're like, mine, 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 mine. Yes. I'm talking about kids. I see the twins. I see them all uh, go at each other with their babies. <laughs> and mine, no, it's mine, no, you mine. That's yours over there. I don't want that over there. <laughs> amen. amen. Because, amen, because I, I give you a precious, precious gift of eternal life. I, it is kept in heaven for you. Pure under fire, but you're on the reach of chain and decay. Amen. Romans 6 3, 3 says, The free gift of the what gift of God? Free gift. The free gift of God is what? Eternal life. Through who? Amen. Amen. The free gift. The free gift. Amen. How many of you love something free? Amen. Amen. Now y'all see why I say free food is good food. Amen. I, I mean, like I said earlier, it might not be what you want. But the key is, it's the free. Amen. 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 I say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't care what mama sent over to me. Okay. I don't care what place she sent. Somebody say amen. amen. It's free food. It's free. It is good food. Amen. It might not be all what I want, but it's free. But it's free. Yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. If you heat it up right, it'll be really good. <laughs> but then a hot sauce on it, come on somebody. <laughs> Ooh, Lord Jesus. All right. Oh. Um, Acts 10 and 35 says, it makes no difference what you, who you are or where you are from. If you want God and are ready to do as he says, the door is now open. I said, that's pretty good. Amen. 35 minutes, that's pretty good. Man. Somebody say amen. Amen. No, I thought I'd like to turn around. I'll see y'all about that. Some of us are just going to get weary. I hate you. Can I say that? Let us take off here. Acts 10 35 is where many churches say the doors are now open. Y'all see where they get it from now? This is where they get that from now. The doors of the church are now open. But it's only open to those who are ready to give their life to Christ. You want God and are ready to say and do as He says. And the thing said, the door is now open. But many churches say the door of the church is now open. But this is where it's coming from. The door is not open for you to come up and leave out do what you do what you always do. Somebody say that. But some say, oh, my heart says yes. Will you say yes today? The door will keep open. And today, praise God, I, this is how I want to pray real quickly. Because I know how I am, right? Today, I want to pray for you to receive the greatest gift that God will ever give you. That is the Holy Spirit and eternal life. If you want to pray today, come quick. I need to come real quick. I need to come real quick. I'm going to pray that prayer. 